What's up guys, welcome to Top Phone for you. Today I've got two tablets with me, uh, the Huawei MatePad 10.4 and uh, the Huawei MatePad Pro. So one of them, uh, you can get Google Play services uh, installed and working, and the other one, uh, there is no option to get uh, Google services, uh, there is no way to get Google services working on the other one. So uh, I'm just gonna show you the uh, the MetaPad Pro, which I already have uh, Google installed. Um, so uh, on this one, um, when I received this tablet, uh, it came with uh, an older firmware, uh, version 10.0.1.1.7, and I was able to uh, install the Google Play Store. As you can see, it's there uh, and everything is working. And as it should, uh, no problem at all. So uh, I just uh, installed the Google Play Store uh, and Google Play services and once everything is working I was able to uh, update it to the latest uh, EMUI as you can see it's running on the version 10.1.0.1.80 which is the latest one and the Google services is still working fine uh, you, and uh, another thing once you have uh, Google services installed and working you can remove all the Chinese app including the LZ Play it won't affect the uh, Google services and um, so uh, everything will still be working fine as it should so as I just uh, want to show you the Instagram I'm just gonna install it so uh, this one uh, the MetPad Pro was released uh, in December last year so it has uh, an older firmware version you could you can downgrade I've already made a video how you can downgrade and install the Google Play Store then uh, update it to the latest one so uh, make sure you check my other video I'll leave a link in the description below to show you how you can uh, install Google services on your Huawei MatePad Pro so uh, and everything seems to be working fine as it is so uh, the other one is the MatePad 10.4 so uh, this tablet was released in uh, April this year. So uh, the firmware on it was already uh, designed to block LZ Play. So uh, you cannot, no matter what firmware version you have, uh, you, you won't be able to get Google services working. So I've done all the research. I've been ev uh, on every forum, but you can't get uh, uh, Google services working so uh, um, and uh, the best options for you if you have uh, this tablet is uh, to use Vmos again I'll leave uh, a link in the description and um, to show you how you can get Vmos uh, installed and working and that gives you access uh, to uh, Google services uh, including Google Play Store. Another option, if the apps you run uh, don't require Google services and there is an alternative app store which I use, which I find uh, very easy to use. So well, I've got two here. Uh, you can see I've got Aurora Store and APK Pure. That's the only app I use. And then uh, the other one I use Petal Search. But most of the time I just use Aurora Store. You can just uh, install it. Um, so you just search for it on uh, Google um, and then uh, install the APK and uh, agrees on some uh, terms and condition. Once you agree and then you just log in anonymous or use your Google services. Sometimes when you're trying to uh, log in with your Google account, uh, it will fail to log in. You just log in anonymous and everything will still work fine. As you can see there, all the apps, most of the apps are there. You can just say it's very easy and straightforward to install. Um, so you just tap on the app you want to install and then just install. Uh, within a second, it will start downloading. As you can see there, so uh, it will just download it. And then uh, you just tap on install. then it's done so uh, and uh, everything will work as it should i have uh, a few shortcut there uh, if you need uh, access to google classroom again i've done another video check my other video i'll show you how to create a, a shortcut that's a shortcut using the browser and youtube you do the same and um, use a I use a shortcut and um, through the browser and uh, everything 
work as it should. You can make a full screen, you can change the, uh, the quality. Um, so, uh, and everything work as it should using the browser. Another alternative you can use instead of YouTube, if you're on the app, you can use uh, YouTube Advanced on this tablet and uh, it will work fine. You just open Google and search for YouTube Advanced and then it will take you to their browser and then download the YouTube Advanced uh, Manager. Um, I've done another video to show you how you can install it. It's quite good. Google Drive, um, uh, you can access it as well. But the only thing uh, you won't be able to do is just uh, auto update files to the Google Drive. You'll have to do it manually. Um, an alternative to that, you can use OneDrive, which seems to be working fine once you install the app or Dropbox. Uh, which works fine as well. I've got Amazon, works fine, uh, no problem. You can log in uh, or, or browse. So everything works fine. So uh, yeah, so the best uh, option for you just uh, to find alternative apps. So just uh, use uh, Aurora Store to install all your alternative apps and uh, everything uh, will be working as you cannot uh, get Google services uh, on this tablet at the moment. So uh, I'll keep an eye out as soon as I find a way um, uh, to make uh, uh, Google services working on this tablet. I'll make another video. So make sure you subscribe and uh, enable notification and to be alerted when that video goes live. And um, so uh, pet, you can use a uh, petal search will allow you to, uh, the, the good thing about petal search, if you search for an app, I'm just gonna search for it. So uh, if you search for the app uh, and uh, if it's not supported on the tablet, it, it will give you the option to uh, go through the browser. Do once you tap on go, and then at the bottom there, you can see there it will ask you to do you want to add this uh, as a home screen you know where to have a, a, a shortcut to your home screen you so just tap add and then that create the shortcut for you so if you go back to the home screen you can see there ebay is there so you just uh, anytime anytime you want to access it you just tap on ebay and then it will take you straight to the web browser uh, you have uh, a few apps which will still work so i'm just gonna open aurora store and show you uh, some Google apps still work, like uh, the Google Map. Uh, just, uh, I'm just gonna install it. And once it's installed, you can open it and uh, it will work fine uh, without the Google services. So you'll have some apps which will work and others you'll need uh, the Google services. And so uh, the best option, uh, if you, the app you want to run require Google services, just use uh, a VM called Vmos, uh, which will allow you to use the full uh, Google Play Store to install app. I'm just gonna run uh, the map. Let's keep the sign in. I'll try that and then allow, and then ignore that. And uh, that's it. As you can see, you have a, I have a Google Map working fine. So with our uh, uh, Google services, you just tap on ignore, and everything should work fine. That's it, guys. If uh, you have any question, please uh, leave a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget to check my uh, other video, which uh, I've done a lot of uh, tutorial how you can uh, make the most of your Huawei MatePad uh, 10.4 without the need of uh, Google services. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to uh, click on the uh, subscribe button and enable notification for more video. Thank you for watching, keep safe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.